Good day, folks. Uh, today I'm going to bring you up a nice bait fish pattern. This is a smaller tie here that'll uh, imitate a lot of the uh, different uh, bait fish you're going to run across in different areas for different species. So let's get uh, to show you the materials I'll be using on this smaller fly. It's going to be a, a Tamco 800S saltwater hook, size 4. Uh, you can fish that in the salt or fresh water, whatever you like. It's got the nice large eye. Uh, for your have your shock tippets and um, I'm going to finish this eye, uh, fly off with some ultra eyes these are one quarter inch blue silver black to match this pattern it's a very nice uh, material then we'll be using some six aught black thread to tie with simper fly we're using some predator fibers this is the polar bear uh, nice uh, material the um, also we're going to be using some for the wings or the streamer itself, we're going to be using Semperfly Cashmere Monkey. It's a synthetic, uh, very nice straight, uh, does not uh, soak up any water. It's very nice, uh, retains a shape, uh, comes in a lot of different colors. I've got bags full of colors they've sent me to, to use and it's a great material. I'll also be using some uh, Crystal Flash. This is from uh, Semperflash is what it's called. A nice little small flash and to top it off I'm going to be using some of this uh, Gata and, uh, Gala and Green Blend. It's a very nice uh, bait fishy looking topping on on your streamers and you can finish the fly off with some marine goop or some uh, UV resin. Okay we'll uh, start here and also for the throat I'm going to be using some poly bear. This is in red just a nice uh, throat material. So very little pattern here. Let's get to it. Start out, get our hook in the vise. Tie this up in all different sizes. I'm just going to show you basically the technique I like to use. This tie is fairly simple. I don't put any weight on it. I want this fly to stay in the zone for as long as I can. Um, remember, I like the fly line to get me in the zone and the, and the, and the fly to actually uh, stay in the zone for a long period of time. I don't want it to get get below the fish or get snagged up wherever you're fishing it. A lot of times these predators we need to be uh, leave it in front of them until it triggers the dark side of their mind if you like and uh, entice the strike. I'm going to tie on some of this to the poly bear. I've cut just a small little pinch off there. I folded it over. Uh, I basically have it tapered. Let me just get rid of that a little bit snaggy. There we go. So that's going to create the bottom part of our, our uh, fly, of course. Then I'm going to take my throat. I want to tie that in at this point. We're going to tie it all in uh, underneath for now. I'm going to pull some of this back later. Take a little pinch of that. Tighten it underneath. Pull what I want facing forward. A little bit on the back here. That'll be good. Okay, so then I'll come in just with a little bit of this uh, crystal flash here from Semperfly. This is really fine. It's almost like a midge flash. It'll look really scaly in the water. And you can kind of envelope that white. Looks good. And just a little bit of materials going here. I've just look at the little bit I've taken from my uh, cashmere monkey here. And that's that's half of. I've just folded it in half, and then I've uh, got these ends uh, kind of tapered. And I'm going to tie one on the far corner top. Bring this one over this corner top. Kind of gives me a little better shape, more profile, than stacking it on top of each other. Then I'll take my, that's my kind of a secondary color, I guess, just kind of give it a little blend for the body. The primary color I'm going to take over the top. There again, just very little, like a bag will do you a lot of, lot of flies. Material will go a long way, and I'm going to do that top corner on the Far side, 
flip back top corner on my side. This cashmere monkey now will really want to blend with itself in here. Kind of fold around. Now I'll come in underneath. Pull my white and the red throat back. Make sure that's kind of tapered. That look good when I get it pulled together. And pull that out and then it'll uh, blend right back in with that other. There we go. Kind of gets the throat tucked in a little bit underneath the white. Looks really good. Then all I need to do is come in here with some of this. I love this flash here. This gold and green blend. That is really nice for that. For the topping, I'll just take maybe a couple four strands. Not over the top. And take that right to the very end. Very nice. There, now we'll um, come in with the um, UV glue here. Put a generous amount on that. I better go get myself another bottle of this too. Okay. These ultra eyes, they've got actually a little pupil in the side here that's kind of a shape. I want the narrow to the front without a pupil. Each side, bring in my torch. Got that cured on. I'll just uh, whip finish my thread, get that gone. And I'll bring a little more of the uh, UV in here to finish this fly up. Kind of splayed them as you can see on the bottom here. Might have kind of sometimes that UV gets the torch probably hit that just a little bit. I didn't hide it. <laughs> and that'll seal that off when you hit your torch. There we go. It's open now. You get a nice generous amount of the UV in there. Now I'll take it away so my torch don't hit it. You might want to do this a couple times and build yourself a nice head, solid head. What I'm doing there is trying to build a get my body so it looks pretty realistic. Profile. Didn't get that eye as neat as I wanted. You have to excuse me for that. I'm tying quite a ways from my fly here. I got the camera in between the fly and my arms get kind of stretched out. Run that around, let it settle. And that should cook on and be a nice little bug for you. Indestructible. Take that to the salt, throw it at whatever species you want. I don't care with walleye, pike, whatever you want. Fresh water, you can go to salt water. Any species will be plum happy to eat this. You don't always have to have great big flies either. I've, I've noticed that a lot of times these nice little streamers uh, will get the job done for you. So I'd like to thank you again for watching. And uh, thanks to Semperfly and a lot of our good sponsors here. Catch you again real soon.